So uh, there are various ways of thinking about what we want to promote in kids. Typically in America, we define a good kid by what they don't do. Oh, they don't smoke, they don't drink, they don't engage in bullying, they don't engage in unsafe sex. So you're good by not... not uh, you're good because of what you don't do, as opposed to pointing to those attributes of a young person you want to promote to show that they're thriving or flourishing. So increasingly uh, across the 1990s and now uh, across the, the 15 years of this century, we've begun to focus on what we want to promote in kids. And people have come to uh, talk at least about five things. Competence, not just uh, academic competence, although that's a p part of it, but also social competence and health competence and uh, vocational competence. 60% of all kids who are enrolled in high school full-time work part-time. Uh, in addition to being uh, a competent young person, you want to be a confident young person. You want to feel that you're a young person that has the skills to effectively do valued behaviors. And that's critical in sports, but it's critical in life. Then connection is another C of positive development. And so what that means is you understand that life isn't uh, uh, pursued effectively by yourself. You need positive relationships with parents, peers, friends, coaches, teachers, mentors, faith leaders. And then you need to be a person of character. You need to show that you understand what's right to do and you're committed to doing what's right. A moral compass or a sense of, of, of even spirituality that it's important to go beyond yourself. And that leads to the uh, fifth C, caring or compassion, that you understand that just because you have your uh, uh, assets and resources, you, your concern shouldn't stop there. How can I make the world a better place for others who may be less fortunate? Now, what happens when you have competence, confidence, connection, character, and caring? A sixth C comes about. You're a young person devoted to making a positive contribution to your friends, to your family, to your school, to your community, and ultimately to civil society and democracy. You want to contribute by being an active and positively engaged citizen. So that's a great outcome that we see when kids are thriving with those five C's.